Hold on, hold on, sir. Mm -hmm. sir. Let's oh, just let you know this thing's audio recording. This. I'm required by law to form. What? what? I'm required by law to form this thing's always audio recording. Oh, right. Your yeah. audio, 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 audio recording. Audio recording. Sorry, your excuse your pen. Your audio recording. Audio recording. Yes, I heard okay. you. So what are you carrying? Oh, I'm carrying the AR-15 and the Beretta M9. Is that a, a, a assault rifle? Uh, people want people call it that. I just call it a rifle. So why are you carrying it? Oh, just to spread on public... Um, Awareness. Awareness. Public awareness, uh, desensitize, and and if people want to know the laws, I can yeah. educate yeah. them on yeah. it. Yeah. 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 And so you carrying, have the right to carry it. You're, you're mm -hmm. carrying an assault yeah. rifle plus you're carrying a pistol. Correct. Tell, yes. me your, tell me your story. What do you stand for? I stand for the rights of the individual to life, liberty, and property and to be able to freely express your opinion and to be peacefully assembled and your right to keep and bear arms for whatever arm, it just doesn't have to be a rifle, it can be of any arms, like a sword or a knife or pepper spray or, or a shotgun weapon, it doesn't matter, it's just it's a right to bear arms. And so, so who do you represent? Myself. Himself. Myself? Yeah. <laughs> so he is just saying, hey, we can have them in our house, we can have them wherever we want, we have the right to do that, we have the yeah, right to if, protect ourselves. If you feel I believe we have the right to protect ourselves. Mm -hmm. If you feel the need... Uh, people think you're, like, crazy to carry that? Uh, because I think... People that are... I'm wondering. People that are emotional kind of think I'm crazy. And there's other ones that are somewhat emotional, but they understand my point. And there's ones that you know look at me and respect what I'm doing. And I just had an interaction with four people down there, and we had a pleasant conversation. They explained the law, and and they totally respect what I'm doing. And they appreciate because I got a positive demeanor, and I'm not harming anyone, and I'm respecting people's opinions. If they disagree with me, I tell them I respect your opinion, but I, I disagree as well, and just. And no disrespect in that matter, because we all have the right to freely express our opinion. Are you still a little heavy? Shut the hell up. Okay, so can I have my picture with you? Because that's oh, come on. Cool. Shut Please? the hell up. Shut it. <laughs> Don't say anything. Shut I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, gentlemen. All right. All right. Oh, just because. <laughs> Got it. So, yeah, if you're ever curious about the laws, I know an organization that can also. Survivor? Survivor. Oh my god, I love it. I'm not curious about the laws. Okay. Actually, I understand the laws, okay. and I respect the right to carry an arm, weapon, axe. I actually respect the right to carry a concealed weapon. Mm -hmm. It is a little bit freaky seeing you walking down the street, however, with a, you know, a uh, assault rifle. But I trust Air you. Gun. And um, oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, you're right. I grew up with guns. Mm -hmm. I know how to shoot. So I'm cool. Yeah, and that's what I'm nice trying to show in. is also a different a public demeanor. If the demeanor of a person is not threatened, they should uh, assume, you know, not they don't have to. They still have a, uh, what's the word? Be cautious. Ooh, what happened? Oh, your glasses. Sunglasses, right yes. here. Oh, yours. Okay. <laughs> so I was waiting to see if anything else was going to go off. The thing is, though, is, is, the, is the people that, you Just know, that um, go crazy on, um, you know, theaters and things like that, mm -hmm. they look fairly normal. They look like you. That's what's frightening. I think that's what scares people. That's what scares people and gives... Uh, so I don't know what the interaction that that, um, that person did, but at the same time, it's technically our responsibility to be able to protect ourselves. Because police officers, you know, they're not always there for you. They take like yeah, 15, 20 minutes. Like my. What do you do for a living? I work in a retail establishment. <laughs> okay. All right. Good to know. Good to know. So well, so you know what? Friendly. Mm -hmm. My best to you. Be careful. I've been I doing it for it three years, well. so I've been doing it quite a while. I actually went around the whole state of Oregon. I was trying to spread my awareness and also hand up pamphlets to people, which I don't have right now. But I hand pamphlets to people if they want to, to know the laws and if they want to defend the rights, they can take that step right here if they want. I'm not forcing them. I my bet team. you get a lot of opposition. I'm just. Uh, in betting. Portland, I did. And um, Ashland, I did too. I just yeah, came from okay. there. I, I was talking to these fellow people and we had a, a good conversation. And then this one guy came up and. He was kind of dirty and everything, and he pulled his jacket off and said, I know not a gun! And he had a knife in front of his pelvis right here, and he was going like this. He came closer. You need to get away from me. You, you came up to me. I'm talking to individuals. You, I hate you. 
That's you just walked up to me and you're following me right now. Yeah, he's uh, not very smart with you with all your ammo. Well, I have pepper spray, so I don't want to use the firearm if I don't have to. Well, and please I don't. don't. Yeah. Yeah, please don't because you know you'll you're the one that'll get in trouble. Yeah. Well, you know, my best to you. Good luck. Thank you. You both have a good day, okay? Thank oh, you. Thank you. Thank you.